Chris and Andre, you've become the darlings of the South African fine wine industry, not only helping put Swatland on the map, but also assisting the South African fine wine revolution. We're excited to showcase 40 Malinu family wines on the 11th of April at the Strauss & Co. Fine Wine Auction, along with historical Mealist and modern uh, icon de Turin wine estate. Starting in 2008, what was your goal? Did you ever dream of achieving so much in such a short time? It started with looking at, at what kind of wines we wanted to make. We, we knew we wanted to make amazing old vine Shannon and Syrah, and knowing that the Swatland was a place where we could do that. It's a region blessed with many, many old, uh, old vineyards and a perfect climate and terroir for Shannon and, and Syrah. Andrea, uh, talk to me about who was your inspiration and who's your inspiration now? So there are fantastic winemakers in South Africa and you know, previously there are winemakers who blazed trails so that winemakers like Chris and myself could do what we are doing today. So people like Norma Radcliffe and Ibn Saudi have just been absolutely instrumental to help shape where the South African wine industry is today. But we're also very inspired by the classical wine regions, especially in the Northern Rhone, you know, Klopp and Kornos, or um, Chauve and Hermitage. We are always going to try and make a wine that has balance and elegance from the Swartland. Chris, and how does your Syrah age? I think that's a very important question for our uh, bidders out there. Yeah, great question. So Syrah in South Africa is, is quite different depending on the region you're in. Swatland Syrah is incredible because it, it has very sort of approachable tannin. We generally tell people enjoy it when it's young, but it definitely, if stored right, has the ability to age incredibly well. Syrah is a very important part of your portfolio. Why was there very little focus in the Swartland and how did you unlock that potential? We find in the Swartland you get incredible focused pockets of very specific Syrah characters and so we really did realize that you could bottle Syrah on its own and Syrah truly is a chameleon of terroir so when we have our Syrah planted on the schist soils you really get those schist characters and the same with the granite soils and the iron soils. Well I'm very excited to see what the Lerisse and other sweet wines do but what are the other lots uh, on the 11th of April that you're really excited about? Well, yeah, I mean, we're obviously super excited about our single terroir Syrah lots. There's some really special vintages there. But I really think people shouldn't overlook the white wines as well. We put a few really special lots in. Our Schist Chenin Blanc, for interesting, is, is probably our rarest bottling. It's a wine we've only bottled four or five times. And then we've also put in a, a couple of verticals of our old vines white. And I think that that's really interesting for people to be able to, to purchase a lot of six different vintages of a wine that's very close to our hearts and, and see the evolution of that wine through the different uh, vintages and, and through our winemaking. A hundred points for your Lerisse number two from Neil Martin last year, the first South African wine ever to get a hundred points. Uh, what's so special about the Lerisse number two and how does it differ from the other sweet wines that you make? So the straw wine we make from Chenin Blanc is just an awesome example of sweet wine that you can make from the Swartland because you're not only reflecting the sunshine and concentrating the sugar, but you're also concentrating the acidity. So you end up with a super balanced sweet wine. And what makes the Alerice special is that it is fractionally blended from every year since we started. So each year of aging, you end up with something more balanced, more concentrated, more powerful, but at the same time still absolutely elegant on the palate. Well, thank you, Andrea and Chris. Uh, we're really excited to sell your wines on the 11th of April. 